Now, welcome back. Stephen Polyakov is an award-winning British director, playwright and scriptwriter and is widely thought to be one of Britain's greatest TV dramatists. And this Saturday's special night of programmes dedicated to his work will be very warmly welcomed. The celebration will include a brand new drama starring Ruth Wilson, best known for her BAFTA-nominated performance as Jane Eyre. It's called A Real Summer and the drama sees Ruth tackle two characters in a unique Monologue. Well, Stephen and Ruth are here, as you can see, to tell us much more about that. Good morning to you, but first, uh, let's have a quick look at a clip. Suddenly, I'm approached by a young woman. And let us call her Felicity, although that is not her real name. She's about my own age with an open, pretty face. She says she hasn't the faintest idea why she's here in this garden, with all these people from the film world. Why she's been invited. She's in the foggiest clue. It can only be a mistake. She asked me who I was and what I did. Oh, you must be frightfully brainy, she says. Oh, modesty demanded that at least I tried to deny this. No, no, you're obviously so brainy and that's marvellous, she insists. I like clever people, she giggles. Actually, I don't get to meet very many. And as for me, I'm a rail dance. I can't hide it, so I just admit it. <laughs> She's laughing away merrily, almost boastfully. Suddenly her face is quite close, her pale blue eyes studying me. How do you choose what to write about in your column every week? Yeah, I'm often asked this, and I try my best to be vague, because the truth is embarrassingly chaotic in the last minute. So I'm just about to give my usual evasive answer when she says, why don't you write about me? This. I was not expecting. Mm, and Stephen and Ruth, as you can see, join us now. Very good morning to you. Let's start with you, Ruth. I mean, talk about the difficulty of performing two characters on your own. Yeah, it was quite a daunting challenge, but um, it was really fascinating. It was a great, great thing to do, a great opportunity to play two characters, and in a way, three characters, because you're playing young Mary, uh, then the imitation of the character that she talks about, mm. and then also the character that you see later on. Um, so Geraldine, so you're sort of playing Mary, Felicity and Geraldine, three voices in your head. Um, but it's fascinating and a wonderful opportunity for any actor to do but, that. But is it more difficult for you as an actor then to hold those different characters in your head? I mean, I don't know what your, your technique is, you know, how much you get into an individual character, but to have them both around at the same time must be more difficult. Yeah, it is quite difficult, but the writing is so specific and so cleverly written, it's wonderful. So it actually really helps you um, to easily slide into each character. And the voices, because I use different voices, that really helped to get into mm, role yeah. as well. Um, but Stephen helped me out with that. We had a few rehearsals, um, made, making those distinctions between character really quick and really fluid. Um, but it was great fun, a huge challenge, and I loved it, yeah. Yes, oh, so Stephen, how did you go about choosing an actor to play a role like that when she's had, she carries the whole thing? Well, Ruth and I knew each other because she was in Jane Eyre, mm. um, and coincidentally, which was um, the screenplay was written by my wife, and we had the rushes in the house, and my wife was saying, you should look at this young woman, she's amazingly talented. And um, then we made Capturing Mary. I cast mm. um, Ruth as the young Maggie Smith in Capturing Mary, and we made that um, film, which goes out on, on next Monday. And um, she was so startling in it um, that I thought um, I wanted to write more about that character and um, she plays a writer, a young writer in that and I, I just thought there was more to that character and so we made A Real Summer um, which is a totally standalone piece mm. that you know so you've, but um, um, as sort of what happens to her before she enters the spooky house and meets David Williams. And it's nice this weekend. Uh, yes. 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 Well, we'll talk about David Williams. It's nice because that sort of it, people watching this weekend, mm. the one sets up the other mm -hmm. actually. Because there's a I mean, and people special. watching last weekend will have seen Joe's Palace, and yeah. there is a connecting well, not a theme, but there's the, mm. the connecting motif, I suppose, of this big house that contains well, so many memories, so many secrets. Yes, I mean they are totally separate films, but they do connect through um, the young boy mm. Joe, as in Joe's Palace, um, and. Um, so um, they're separate stories, but they happen in this this big Mayfair mansion with all its um, rooms. It opens and opens and opens and reveals things. And and capturing Mary is about um, what happens when Maggie Smith comes back um, to that this house and um, 
tells Jo and what happened to her as a young woman when in its heyday, when it was having these great soirees, she entered this, this house as a young successful writer and, and full of confidence and then meets this um, extremely um, dangerous customer. Mm. Yes, let's have, a look, let's have a little character. look actually at it. I thought you might like some strawberries. They're Mr. Tennis, but I brought the strawberries. It's clotted cream. Do you want some? Thank you, that's very kind. I'll have a spoonful. It's all right, I don't need to come in. You look really well. Thank you. I am. I just wanted to say, Mary, about the last time we saw each other. Oh, yes, when you, when you made that big salad. Yes, there was the salad. And then there was what I told you. Oh, yes, was it something? Was it about a film star and dogs? Yes, that yes. was part of it. <laughs> amongst other things. I just want to explain why I told no, you No, no, you don't have to. Please. I just wanted to say I really didn't mean to upset you. Oh, was I upset? No. No, I don't think so. Right. That's good. I'm glad you weren't. Oh, chilling. I mean, for anyone who thinks that uh, they're going to have a problem taking David Williams seriously, I say give it about 30 mm, seconds. Yeah. He mm. really its a scary character, isn't he? Yeah, it? he's um, its probably frightening. And his height and just how much presence he has is um, mm. incredible. And the, the combination of both of us, um, I think Mary is a very confident and young girl, but she's very slight and mm. quite young looking. And so you have this presence of this dominating man and... Uh, he's great. He's fantastic in mm -hmm. it. Yeah. yeah, Stephen. I mean, how did you go about that? Because people are very much accustomed to his other roles and his comedy. Um, how did you see him in this role? Well, um, I, I knew it was a, a sort of surprising part, mm. and we wanted a surprising piece of casting um, and somebody that had a very strong period feel. And when David is in those yeah. um, the clothes, he does look, it looks a bit like a thin Charles Lawton or something. He has a great power uh, and, and a sort of period feel to him. And we had two very, very long auditions um, because um, David, because he was so used to the comedy, um, had to slow down a bit. And he's sort of rushing the dialogue to get to a punchline. But there is no punchline. Mm. Is it? Um, it's, it's more smouldering. And so, um, but he was terribly interesting. And, um, and so I cast him. And then we did a lot of rehearsal, didn't we, mm. Ruth? And um, including once in his house, we just went on rehearsing. And um, the big, long scenes, sort of cat and mouse between these characters. And um, then, of course, Maggie Smith, this, this, um, being in it, um, it's sort of, I was wondering, how she would react <laughs> if she knew Little Britain or something. And I yeah. told her, it was, and, um, but she turned out to be a you know, great fan of it, so that was great. So, well, listen, yeah. really great to see you both. That's the weekend's viewing taken care of, yes. isn't it? Yes, really fantastic. Ruth, uh, Stephen, thanks very much for joining us here on Breakfast this morning. Yeah. And uh, you can see Real Summer on BBC Two. It's on Saturday night at five minutes past nine. And then Capturing Mary is actually on BBC Two on Monday at nine o'clock. I watched them last night. I couldn't turn mm, them off. Fantastic. Really worth it. <laughs> and uh, that is it for today. Tomorrow, amongst others, we're going to be talking to the incomparable Felicity Kendall about her latest theatre role. And also, uh, Jessica Hines is going to be here to tell us about her new BBC drama as well. That's all tomorrow. We See start at six. Join us then if you can. Yes, please do. And thanks Goodbye. for all your pudding emails too. <laughs> no, 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 no. We'll, we'll need some of this. <laughs>